So plain and simple, you have described the threat in much the same way that a, a lot of uh, global leaders, particularly in the West, have described it publicly. Over here, we've certainly heard the defense secretary say this is the worst uh, you know, enemy that we face. This is just a very high risk. And yet... The, the reaction is we are going to do aerial assaults, but, you know, despite this global threat, despite the fact that everybody is seeing it everywhere, we can't we can't put troops on the ground. Was it a mistake for your country and our country to say, but, you know, it's it's we're not going to put U.S. troops on the ground? I mean, I think policy is in a state of evolution. And, it, and by the way, it's perfectly natural, Candy, that that happens. We've been through very difficult campaigns, as I know, in Iraq and Afghanistan, where we had, you know, major um, forces on the ground right. actually occupying parts of countries. The public, both your way and, and my way, has, has a fatigue with that type of campaign, perfectly understandably and naturally. However, it's now very obvious from Syria, from Libya, from everything that's happening in the world, that this problem isn't going away. And I think you'll find that policy undergoes a process of evolution where people realize in different situations you're having different strategies. And there may be situations in which we are prepared to use combat force. There may be other situations in which we can support others to do that. In any event, there are a whole series of things around intelligence sharing, around uh, air power, where we can have a huge impact. The most important thing, and this is, this is I think, one of the advantages and opportunities of the situation President Obama is in now, there is today, I think, for the first time, and this is still work in progress, but there is today a huge understanding as well within the Arab world and within majority Muslim countries that this is their fight as much, if not more, than ours and that they're prepared to work with us in order to defeat this extremism.